guys, today I have to give a presentation for Galileo, my school. I have to do that every three weeks and I really don't like presentations because I get a little bit nervous and I just don't like them that much. But today I'm going to tell the classmates and the teacher about Bitcoin. I'm gonna do the presentation about Bitcoin. Um, I don't know if you all know what Bitcoin is, but it's like money but digital. So Bitcoin is decentralized, disruptive, 24 7 usable, borderless, immutable, trustless, unconfiscable, censorship resistant, and peer to peer digital cash. Um, <laughs> that's a lot to tell that won't fit in five minutes so i just took the last one because i think that one is really important and changed a lot and it's going to change a lot so that is digital cash for all so you can give money to whoever you want whenever you want so i'm just going to ask you some questions and then you just think about them um, like think about it so how many people do not have a bank account there are 7.5 billion people and 3 billion do not own a bank account or credit card or whatever so that's almost half the people that's really a lot um how would you order something online without having a bank account. So just think that you don't have a bank account or credit card or PayPal and how would you order something online? Because I order everything online. I order my food online, so um, yeah. And how would you send money to someone without a bank account? Uh, that's also possible, but um, the answer is Bitcoin. Um, why Bitcoin is because Bitcoin makes it possible for people without a bank account to receive and send money with a phone and it's easier than I thought but for example um, I went to the Moluccan Islands where my roots are from uh, to my family and my nephews and nieces and I saw that there were no banks, uh, big shops, cars, like nothing. So, but everybody had a phone, especially the kids. They all had phones, like from Asia and from families. And but they did, and that was crazy. But then I went home, and I thought, like, I want them to send some money to help them because they do not have jobs, so they can't have a bank account. So I thought, like, how am I going to send that? because they don't have a bank account so how am I going to send my money to my nephews in Indonesia that was I thought it was not possible but it is with a phone so if you have a phone you can send and receive Bitcoin um how um you have something called Ladiam it's a Bitcoin wallet I use it all the time my dad uses it all the time and it's a link I can send to people on Facebook Messenger or Telegram. So if I would send that to one of you or you would send me something, I could send you a link through Messenger or Telegram. And that link is a Bitcoin wallet. So you just have your own bank because a Bitcoin wallet is kind of your own bank because you tell you like, choose what's happening to the money, to who you send it, when you send it, how, it's all your, it's your bank, nobody can stop it or whatever. So uh, if you would send me a message, I could send you the link, you have your Bitcoin wallet and then I can just send you Bitcoins. I can't send you a whole one because that's too much, but like a little piece of it, it's really simple, it's like a bank works but now it's your own bank and you can um, decide what ha happens to it and not the bank owners and the government and all those people so I think that's really important especially for the people who do not have banks and also want to order something online or like uh, 
bank or whatever, you need money for that. And if you don't have the bank and you want family to send you money, that's not possible. But now it is through Light I Am. And if you send a Light I Am um, link to your friends or family, you get money, you get bitcoins from I Am self. They will send you bitcoins because you are sending their link. So you make money by doing really simple things and helping other people. And that's how we help. Uh, we try to help the poor people without bank accounts. So we can send them money to get them food, to live so they can live. So that's kind of all for my presentation. Do you have any questions? Wow, very cool, Jolie. Thank you. Thank you. So initially, in the beginning, how would you first get Bitcoins? So would you have to buy them or? Yeah, you can buy them. Um, you can buy them on Light I Am. You can buy them on a lot of sites. Of course, there are some not that great sites, but I could also maybe send them some sites if you want it and it's really easy so yeah okay and I, yeah yeah can you send us some in the campfire i'm interested in trying it yeah sure and how much yeah, does I bitcoin could. cost like you said one is a lot how much if it took one bitcoin do you know how much now one one is eight thousand eight thousand us dollars that's yeah yeah wow. US dollars. oh geez <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Great job, Jolie. Thank you. That was Thank awesome. Thank you. I thought it went well. It could be bad because I talked too much and too long about the same thing. But uh, the teacher said it was good. Um, so yeah, it went pretty good. Mm -hmm.